Hello my Pandora pals and welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited to be filming this video today because this video is actually a kickoff to a new series that's going on here in my channel. It's going to be called My Pandora. Now in each one of these videos, we're going to look at a specific category of items that make up a Pandora bracelet. So as you can see by today's title, we're going to be looking at my dangles, which I have here. I've taken apart every single one of my bracelets and we're going to look at each charm individually. In upcoming videos, we'll look at other items such as spacers, safety chains, two tones, and so on. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and begin. I went ahead and subcategorized these dangles so that there's organization in the way that I present them to you. The first two are genuine gemstone dangles. So the one you see to the left is a beautiful amethyst knot. I love the beautiful color of that purple stone. And then the one to the right of it is a gorgeous faceted topaz which is blue in color and that faceted cut just makes it sparkle. It's absolutely stunning. Continuing with gemstones, now we're looking at the pearl dangles. What I love about pearls is that each one is unique in size, shape, and color, which makes each charm extra special. One important thing to note about dangles is the size of their bale. As you can see, the one with the wings, the bale is much smaller than the other two, and this can be really important when you're trying to design and figure out where you're going to place these on your bracelet. The next dangles we're looking at are the ones with CZs, and I have to say that I actually enjoy dangles with CZs because they add a little bit of extra sparkle to a bracelet. So no surprise here, but one of my favorite dangles is this cute little dove. I love that the CZs were put in the bale for this charm. And then another one that I really love is that beautiful cage that you see on the left side. I love that the little bird dangles out of it. It just makes it so special. The next category we're looking at is the pendants. So pendants can actually also be used as charms. Here are three in my collection that I use on my bracelets. The first one on the left is called Faith, Hope, and Love. The one in the center I believe is called Trinity. And then the feather one is called the Spiritual Feather Pendant. And actually another pendant that I have is this one here. It's a two-tone pendant. It's so beautiful. I love how bedazzled it is. It catches the light perfectly and it just goes so well on my two-tone bracelet. And speaking of two-tones, here are my two-toned dangles. I love every single one of these. Each one has a beautiful touch of 14 karat gold and I just appreciate those little details so 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 much. Um, the cupid is one of the cutest dangles I've ever seen. You can see the little gold heart at the tip of his bow. That one was a Jared exclusive. I also really love that flower dangle at the top. The gold is barely noticeable but it's um, the little prongs that are holding the stone in the center. Here we're looking at the unicorn charm. I believe that this is such a must have for a fairy tale bracelet and I believe that everyone loves two tones equally. Now we're going to be moving on to the glass dangles in my collection. Just like with glass Muranos, um, these dangles are perfect to add a touch of color to your bracelet. And I love that these obviously just dangle instead of adding the color directly on to the bracelet. The possibilities are endless here. Um, they've made them in so many different colors, but these are the ones that are in my collection. 
I've always appreciated how much detail goes into Pandora charms, but I love that Pandora decided to put a star and a butterfly on top of these already very interesting glass dangle charms. The next category we're looking at is the charms that have little dangle pieces. So these aren't like the other dangles because the other dangles have pretty slim bales. These are actually charms. So the birds here have a little heart at the bottom. The front of it says love and the back of it says you. And then that little fish over there has a little tail that moves on your bracelet. Next is the enamel category. So as you can see, they have added enamel to these beautiful charms just to add a little bit of color, which I totally appreciate. And I love buying these for my bracelets. category we're looking at is the all silver dangles so I love that these can go with seriously any bracelet because there are no colored stones no enamels nothing they're just silver but they're definitely not plain each one has their precious little details I particularly love the butterfly dangles that you see there uh, I know that they're a friendship charm, but I decided to keep both just because they look so cute together on a bracelet. Alright guys, so that finalizes looking at my entire dangle collection. I would really love to know which dangles you love the most in my collection and in yours. Leave a comment down below and I will see you guys soon. Bye!